Hello, my name is Anir Jain and we've just had Dr. Johnson Bihari come and give a talk to us, the upper six, and I've been lucky to have the opportunity to interview him. So my first question is, what were the hardships like in Iraq? What did you have to face and what motivated you to continue? My motivation was we never leave no one behind. And if you think about the numbers, I saved 30 soldiers on that incident. The ratio of saving 30 and lose one life is a lot better than save one life and lose 30. I know that one life was me, but today I could live with myself knowing that I did the best I can to save my comrades because they have a family, they have kids to go to. At the time I didn't have no one, but I could live with myself knowing today I did the best I can to save their lives. So me personally, I've lived in four different countries. I've lived in Spain, the US, the UK, and I'm from India. So I miss home a lot. What about you? When you were away, when you were in Iraq, when you were in the UK, what did you miss most about home? When I deployed, the, the thing I missed most was home cooking, having a proper shower. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that was about it, you know, but doing something different, making a difference in wherever country I was at the time had meant a lot to me. So I didn't really focus too much on the outside world, just focus on the job at hand. So as you said, when you were doing these drugs and when you were in the wrong, involved in the wrong things, you talked to your gran and she said she's the one that inspired you to be a soldier. Had you ever thought before that you'd want to be a soldier, want to be in the army? Has that ever crossed your mind before? Well, I remember growing up as a little boy in, in the Caribbean and going to school the few times I went. Um, every kid had some inspiration where they want to be, or they want to be a doctor. And I never knew what I wanted to be. And even as an adult, I was in this country walking with friends and they was about to join the military. And I, they said to me, I'm going to join the military, British Army. Let's go along. And I go, and I turned around and said to them, never in history, why should I join the military? I don't want to. But the military at the time was there for me when I needed direction. I mean, there was other option, but I needed discipline, I needed to be away, and the military was offering everything I was looking for. So I grabbed it, and as I say, that was my option. It's not the only option. So as you said, you went first time and then let you because of the drugs, second time then let you again. Why do you keep going back? Why do you keep pushing those doors? You could have thought of some other thing. What made you choose the military? Was it the discipline you liked? Well, with the military, it offered what I was looking for, the discipline, um, being away from the environment that I was in. So, and it offered quite a lot as well as a job. Um, it's very difficult when to accept disappointment, but it's very easy to give up. It's, it's as easy to give up or to be negative as it's as easy to be positive. So you use the same energy to do both. And finally, if you could offer one piece of advice to all the students here, what would be the one advice you'd give to all of us? What, what, can I, what can I say? For students, the main focus is education. That's the reason why you're here. Focus, education. Because everything else comes from the back of education. You may want to leave education because you want to travel the world or you want to do some work. Imagine you didn't finish your education and for some reason you find this amazing job. But how are you going to progress in this job? You have to go back into education to progress. So that's now wasting your time because you have to work and study at night. So now you have the opportunity to do it all in the one place. Focus. It will be hard, but you need to set your goals. You know where you want to go. You know what you want to achieve in life. What's going to get you there is your education. Okay. Thank you so much. It was great interviewing you. My pleasure. Thank you. So Thank